today's topic will be envelope of civil errors. So this particular topic is very important because this is dealing with all the endonautic treatments. That is, you are starting from your diagnosis, then after that your emergency cases, then access cavity, after that the cleaning and shaping, motivation, then post window treatments and all. Of all this thing, we, we have doing some errors, so some difficulty you may be finding while doing this procedure. Okay, so this chapter will be dealing with all the mishaps, what can happen from your side, and how to correct it, and what all remedies are there to correct it. Okay, so starting with the definition part, endonautics, since the branch of industry concerned with the etiology, prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of diseases and injuries affecting the pulp, root, and the periodic tissues. Okay. So, success of endonautic treatment, treatment depends on mainly on three factors. That is the tripod, that is diagnosis and treatment plan, cleaning and shaping, and observation. So, in any of these steps, which can go wrong, that leads to the accident. Okay. So, like in any other field in the industry, clinicians may face unwanted symptoms. I already told you, during a procedure, something can go wrong. So, that will be usually mentioned in test, endonautic mishaps. So, accurate diagnosis, proper selection, adherence to the principles of your endonautic therapy can prevent the occurrence of these type of accidents. So, first thing, whenever any endo mishap occurs, inform the patient. You should not hide it from the patient, you should always inform the patient regarding the mishap. Okay? That is the incident and nature of mishap, procedures to correct it, any alternative treatment options, and prognosis of the affected patient. So always remember that prevention is the best option for both the patient as well as the dentist because nowadays we will be facing with so many endodical consequences. Okay. The next point is knowledge of etiological factors involved in the is mandatory for the prevention. That is first thing you should know what you are doing. That is really important. You can't skip anything. You should know what you are doing. Only you have to attempt this type of procedure. Okay. Next is recognition of the procedure accident is the first step in this management. That is, first thing you should know that something has gone wrong. Okay. So this type of accident can occur in any state. As I already told you, from your diagnosis till your observation or post endo treatment can lead to this type of failures. Now coming to the classification, so many classifications are there. First thing mainly by ingle, that is access related. Under that comes treating the wrong tooth. This canals, damage to existing restoration, access cavity perforation, and carbon fractures. These are all access provided measures. And second thing is instrumentation related. When you do your instrumentation procedures, something can go wrong. That is first thing, heads formation. This thing is like canal perforations, midroot perforation, apical perforation, separate instruments and foreign objects, canal blockages. These are all instrument related measures. Next is obturation related, that is overextended or underextended fillings, nerve paresthesia, I mean vertical root fractures. These are all obturation related mishaps. Other miscellaneous are that is post-place perforation, that is after the obturation treatment, some teeth may need post-placement. And uh, if you don't do the procedure properly, it can end up with perforation. Next thing is organ related mishaps, then tissue emphysema, instrument aspiration, ingestion, what can all happen. That we should know. Coming to the second classification, that is by Grossman. It is mainly divided into four categories that is, poor diagnosis, poor prognosis, technical difficulties, and careless treatment. Third classification is by Washington study, that is, effective population, operative errors, and errors in case selection. Fourth classification is by Grum, that is, acronym, that is, poor class, which is not speed for perforation. Or for obliteration, or for overfill, or for canal mist, then B for canal disease, A for access, which is done improper, that is S for spread, and D for problem. Fifth classification is by sensor, that is attributed to endonautic failure due to some local factors, that is infection, poor debridement, excessive hemorrhage, then mechanical and mechanical integration, incomplete and overestimated open everything, open instruments, and operation. The last classification that is very excellence is thing you will be going in detail, this particular classification. Okay? 
Under that, first thing is symmetrically framed and shaped roof lamps. Under that comes loss of working length, canal blockage, latching of canal and missed canals. So, second one is instrument separation. Third one, deviation from normal canal and energy. Under that comes shipping, stripping or land wall corporation, canal door, transportation. Under that fourth subheading, that is inadequate canal preparation, that is over instrumentation, over preparation, under preparation. Under that comes the fifth subdivision, that is perforation, uh, that comes coronal, road perforations, okay, and the post place perforations. Road perforations again is classified, that is cervical canal perforations, mid road perforations, and abandoned perforations. This one is obturation related, that is over obturated and over obturated. Seventh one, vertical road fractures, and last one is instrument aspiration. Now we will be going each one in detail, that is the first one, the inadequately cleaned and shaped root canal system. So the main objective is cleaning and shaping is done mainly to remove the bulk tissue or debris or bacteria, and as well as clean and shape the canal for obturation. Okay. Under that, first one is loss of working lens. Under that comes blockages, stretches and fractured instruments and rapid increase in file size. You should not skip any instruments. Each we have got a number for each instrument. That is, you have to start from 6, 8, 10, then come 15 to be like that. If you should not suddenly skip any file and view your procedure. That will end up in loss of working lens. Okay. Now, what are the other reasons? That is, the reasons are accumulation of tendon debris in the affected third of the canal. Because the reasons are that it is written again, that is, preventive measures include frequent irrigation with the hypochlorite, recapitulation, periodic radiographic verification of the working units. Okay? After each instrumentation, you are supposed to do, you have to suppose to lubricate the canal properly so that you can loosen the debris and clear it up. So what is a recapitulation? Recapitulation is whenever, for example, if you are use, going to be using a 25 size file and do your procedure with 25 size clipping and shaping and then you have to recapitulate the same with 20 size file, one smaller one, so that you can loosen the debris and it can be cleared by irrigation. Okay. Next is map portion instrument stops, a variation in reference point or radiographic technique before the use of this all can lead to loss of so, the reasons the malocclusion instrument stops means you are using a loose stop in your instrument, each time it will change, so there will be uh, your loss of working will happen. Next is variation in reference point because uh, when we do this procedure, we have to select a particular cusp for the uh, working unit determination. Each time you are not supposed to change, so that you have to write down which particular canal is having which. Just we have to write down on your paper so that if you are using mesiobacal canal, you are instrumenting so you can take mesiobacal cusp as your reference point. Each time you are not supposed to change the reference point. If you change the reference point, it will end up in loss of opportunity. Okay. Either it will be short or be long. Now, guidelines to maintain proper working weight during gaming and shaping. First thing, use of sound reference points. That is important. You have to always use a sound reference point. That uh, two structure should not be weak. The so two uh, structure which you are selected should be strong enough. So that till the end of the procedure, that will be your reference point. Okay. I think printer all instruments. When you do any original procedure, just we be doing the procedure only after taking an X-ray. On that X-ray, you will be seeing whether the root is curved, it is calcified, like that. According to that, you have to. Recurve the If the roots are curved, you have to recurve the insulin. If you are putting a straight file in a curved canal, it will end up in dents. Okay. So you are necessarily creating problems. Okay. So stick to the guidelines. Next is use copious irrigation recapitulation throughout your cleaning engine. That is very important. Each after each file you are supposed to irrigate the canal. Okay. Recapitulation is important. Use the smaller instrument, clear the canal. Then always use sequential file size and do not skip files because that is also important. After using 20 size file, you are supposed to use 25. But uh, somebody is going to finish it in a fast way, so they may skip files. That will end up in loss of documents. Okay? Then you will be spending more time to clear. So always stick to the guidelines. 
So under the classification, second one is canal blockage. So what is a blockage? It's an obstruction in a previously created canal that prevents access to the affected construction or affected stuff. That is previously your pile was reaching till the apex. So when you are doing proper improper cleaning and shaping. So when you skip any file, this can end up. And all we need is packed with the debris, you will be creating canal blockage. Okay. So remaining part you will be taking the next class. Okay. Thank you.